and we are back. Pokemon Alpha Sapphire this time around. We've beaten Emerald. We've beaten Sapphire. We've beaten Omega Ruby. And now we are going on to Alpha Sapphire to complete our Gen 6 runs. And that will only leave our original Ruby run for Gen 3. So we are really making strides with these hardcore Nuzlocks here. And because we've been in Hoenn so many times, I'm going to implement more bands to try and use different Pokemon this time to win and spice things up a little bit. So look out for that, and I think it's going to be a lot of fun. Let's dive right in. All right, so for bands, let's look at this really quickly. Here we have, we're going to ban the entire starter line. Yes, you heard me correctly. We are not going to be using any of the starters this time. Swamper is my favorite starter. Um, so it always hurts to ban him. He's just so strong, especially in this region. And then Sceptile and Blaziken are fantastic. I just want this to be a very challenging and interesting run here. So no starters are on the table. And then we are randomly going to select whichever starter that may gets our rival. So if she gets Swamper, it's going to be a little bit scary. So I'm hoping we land on Sceptile or Blaziken so it's not so cutthroat. But if she does get Swamper, it's going to be fantastic. So that means my starter is going to be one of those uh, Pokemon in that Route 1 area where you typically help Professor Birch and get uh, one of the conventional starters. So we might just have a Wormpole as our starter um, or maybe even a Poochina. It's going to be crazy. So there is that. As far as other bands, Gyarados is going to be off the table. Gyarados is so good. It's disgusting. So we're going to leave Gyarados on the bench for this run. Everybody here is looking good. Everybody here is looking good. And I do believe that might just leave the legendaries. Flygon is under 500 stat-wise, so we're going to leave Flygon on the table. That could be really fun. Everybody's good here. Yep, and it looks like that just leaves the legendary. Salamence is a pseudo legendary. We're going to drop the big fella for this one just because he is so strong as much as I love him. We're going to drop the Reggie, so all three Reggies are off the table. I don't think you can get Metagross prior to the Elite Four, um, so we'll just leave that up in the air. And then Latios is going to be off the table as well as Kyogre. So a lot of bands... A lot of normal bands, but then some extras on top to make this really interesting. Let's go to the random number generator and see what starter May gets. Let's do it. All right, here we go. So if we land on one, that means May starts with the Trico. If we land on two, that means May starts with Mudkip. And then three is going to be Torchic. So which starter is May going to get? And it is, it's going to be the Trico. All right, so May, our rival, is going to have the Sceptile line. Let's keep an eye on that, and let's kick this run off, and let's do it. All right, for our Route 101 encounter, also known as our starter, it is going to be the Zigzagoon. We're using the rented Mudkip from Professor Birch to catch our first Pokemon, and then Mudkip is going to be gone. Really good stuff here. Let's make this a crazy fun run. For our Route 103 encounter, it is going to be the Little Wingle here. Same typing as Gyarados. I have had a lot of success recently with Pelipper or Peli Pepper, so let's add it to the team. Our Route 102 encounter is going to be the Wormpole. Is it going to be a Dustox? Is it going to be a Beautifly? I guess we'll have to wait and see. For our Route 104 encounter right next to Petalburg City here is going to be Little Talo. Chuck the Premier Ball, secure it, and add it to the team. And then for the Petalburg Woods encounter, it is the coveted Shroomish, the grass typing that turns into Breloom. And I really, really wanted this for the gym fight. Let's go. For our Route 116 encounter, it is the Nincada, the Nincada, the little ground bug typing here. Could have a lot of potential for the fight against Watson. We'll have to wait and see. And for the last but not least, first encounter before the first gym, it is going to be Wismer. Chuck the Pokeball and add it to the roster. And we have arrived at the first gym, taking on Roxanne and her two rock type Pokemon. I am just super excited to showcase this Shroomish. It actually has Poison Heal as its passive, 
So he went ahead and got it poisoned against a Wormpool in the wild, and that is just going to heal. So it's basically going to do a leftovers every turn, and it protects it from other status conditions, which is just phenomenal. So really good stuff there. The rest of the team is also looking really good. Our starter, Zigzagoon, is just doing what she needs to do. Um, and I will leave the nicknames up for grabs here. We'll see if anyone can guess which anime this is from. I'm not expecting anyone to get it, but um, the, the the main character is, is hiding here. Uh, one of these is the main character, and it is the namesake of the show. So we'll see. We'll see if anybody can guess that. But with all of that being said, let's dive right in here and see if we can beat Rox and without losing anybody. This is really good stuff. I think Shroomish is just going to have an absolute field day here. Um, but yeah, let's see what happens. And I'm just super excited to play this without any starters. It's so weird. It is so weird looking at your party and you're looking for the Trico, you're looking for the Torchic, you're, you're looking for the Mudkip, if we're being honest, and no one's there. No one is there. So just a ragtag group of heroes here. And the Geodude comes down. And there's a couple different things we could do here. We could just Mega Drain and pop the Sturdy. We could chip with Tackle and then just one shot with Mega Drain the following turn. Or we could go for the Leech Seed. So if we didn't have the Poison Heal, I think I would go Leech Seed just to try to get as much HP as possible before the Nose Pass comes down. However, because we have that Poison Heal, I'm feeling a lot safer, and I think we're just going to pop Sturdy with Tackle, and then we're going to finish the job with Mega Drain. I think that's just a clean strategy, um, because Leech Seed does have a chance of missing. So Geodude's probably like, oh wow, that did no damage, I'm fine. And it goes for a nice Rock Tomb, we're going to lose the speed there. But that is no problem. That is absolutely no problem. And now we just lean into the Mega Drain. Are we still faster? We get the Quick Claw pop, so we are faster. And we gave Shroomish the Quick Claw just in case because the Rock Tomb speed debuffs do add up. So I figured why not just go with the Quick Claw and counter that, and it worked perfectly. So Shroomish, Akashi just absolutely flexing right now. The Nose Pass comes down, and because this is going to be more of a drawn-out battle, I think we do risk the Leech Seed missing here and just try to lock down the Rock Duckling. So the Tackle comes down, not a lot of damage, and the Leech Seed lands, and that basically seals Nose Pass's fate, unfortunately, for the Duck. Um, because now we're going to be really winning trades with this double heal. Look at this Leech Seed in the Poison Heal, and Nose Pass is just going to have to do so much damage, probably just crit, crit out of the gym here just to get Akashi into a bad position. So I definitely feel for the Duckling, and it's looking at what is happening and is like, I'm just going to use Harden, and it's going to try and hide in its shell, but it's not a turtle. There is no shell to hide in, and it is looking really worse for wear, and Shroomish is basically untouchable at this point. So this is the encounter that I wanted in the forest, and I didn't even realize how good it was going to be until right here, right now, and Akashi is just popping off. This is disgusting. This feels wrong on multiple levels. We did so many bans. We didn't allow starters, and Shroomish is like, did someone forget about me? But no one will forget about Shroomish after this battle. And Nose Pass falls, ridiculous stuff. That is one gym down, seven gyms to go. I think this run is going to be a lot of fun. We got to watch out for that. Any team Aqua fights, we got to watch out for. And just careless mistakes. Let's see how clean we can make this run moving forward. Let's do a really good job with that. And yeah, let's just have a really good hardcore Nuzlocke all around. As always, thank you so much for your time. I really do appreciate it, and I will catch you on the flip. Peace.